Hello guys, today we're going to show you how to create your first test case in Zeus and we're going to simulate a login scenario. So type in username uh, and password and we'll click on sign in and it's going to display a message here successfully logged in and we're going to validate that the login was correct. So let's go ahead and create our first test case. We'll go to testing and then we'll go to create. So for our title, we'll type our first test case in zoos I'll click on enter so here just in progress status automatability we'll set to automation folder we can select any folder we like in our case we'll just like demo app for feature we'll select demo app web and priority we'll set to p2 uh, we can select labels here and here we're defining where the browsers, uh, which browser it will support Chrome, Firefox, and Safari in our case. So let's go ahead and submit our test case. You'll notice that once the test case is created, it has a, um, it, you'll get multiple different new tabs here. Uh, and the, the most important tab here is the steps tab, where it will by default have a uh, default step. We won't use this step, we will create our own step and then we'll add actions to our steps. So let's go ahead and create our first step. We'll go ahead and add above. So first we need to go to login to our demo app. And now it's created a step for us. We'll just remove the placeholder step here and we'll go ahead and add action. So in this we're just going to go visit the web page first. So go to web page and I'll select the add action here. In this case, you'll notice that we have the action name here. It's using a web Selenium driver and we have the field here. We'll need to now go ahead and add our actual address. So I'll just switch to our tag, copy the web address and just replace the default value and save. Now we'll go ahead and add our next step to login, actions to login. So let's go ahead and add the action. So I'll apply filter this time and um, I need to enter text. So I'm going to select enter text. And in this case, before I click on add action by AI, I'm just going to activate my Chrome plugin and I will click on username and then add action by AI and then I'll select in this case ID it's 100% and I'll select add action and for my value for the text I will enter my username okay now let's go ahead and do the same thing for um, our password field so web enter text before I click on that I just need to click on my password field and I'll go ahead and add action by ID I'll again do that and for password I have zoos and pass okay now that we have entered our username and password we need to perform the click actions I'll do the click action slightly different than what we have selecting so far so let's go ahead first uh, select the sign in button so now it's captured the sign in attributes and all the information sent it to our AI server now let's go ahead and click the item. So once I click on it, select add action by AI. I'm going to select something different this time. I'm going to select sign in uh, as a text and I'll explain why I'm trying to do this so that we can see some other feature of Zeus. You will notice that uh, beside the text, there's an asterisk. And the reason because of that is because the sign in is not the exact word. So let's just analyze that for a moment. So if we inspect, we'll see that the sign in itself, the text has new line characters and, um, and many other spaces and so on. So if the text is what we're selecting, then we also need to say that it is text containing that. In this case, reset. And if we right click on the login scenario, this one also has a space at the end, you'll notice. If we put just login and we say click on this text, it won't work because it has a space or empty characters. So in this case, uh, if we want to use the text as a sign in, 
we must also select the object, uh, the asterisk beside it. That's how Zeus kind of defines you that it contains uh, sign in. So we'll select that, add action. All right, now that we have performed that click on the sign in, we need to validate the text. So let's go ahead and manually enter this so that we can see the text that shows up. Click. So I need to capture this login. So I'm going to activate my AI plugin. Login successful is clicked on and I need to validate text. So I'll click on web filter again and validate text. Partial text is what I'll select. Add action by AI. And in this case, I'm going to select the ID here, add action. And the action that the text that I'm trying to validate is login successful. So I'm just going to copy it right from here and replace it here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is how we are going to be able to log in, uh, visit the web page, log in, entering username, enter the password, click on sign in with the text containing sign in because it has new line characters and other characters empty characters so and then the finally will validate partially uh, partial text with this login successful thank you